Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Yeah, this is Pat with an attitude right now. Because I want you to hear what I'm hearing. And what I'm seeing is pitiful. Adults, <coughs> young adults, working adults, clamoring and clutching and fighting, kicking, spitting, and having all kind of, of confrontations with the law and with each other. Over what? <coughs> I don't get it. I don't get what all this accomplishes. What does that do for the country? So you get up in front of a few cameras. You get up there in these so-called protests and demonstrations in front of your friends. And you decide you want to show out. But don't let a billy club come upside your head. That's not going to hurt or help the politicians. That's not going to do anything with the laws of this country. All that's going to do is get you hurt and damaged over nonsense. Now, my opinion, I'm not going to say, but I have a question. Could it be possible that the whole po political arena is a game. Could it be possible that it might even be a farce? And you're out here not getting paid to get your head beat in, not getting paid to go to prison or go to jail, not getting paid to lose your job, to cuss somebody out in their face because they disagree with you, and you decide you got to get them told, they want to get you told, and it comes to blows. And again, I say, and what's the point? What does that do for the country? You can play these little wild games all you want, but I'm going to tell you right now, the only ones that are going to lose will not be the politicians, baby. It will be you your family, your kids, your parents, your grandparents, somebody's going to have to clean up after the mess you made. And if you're in prison or in jail doing time or dead, somebody else is going to have to pay the piper to take care of your kids, raise your kids when they should be enjoying their old age. They've already worked all their lives and done their jobs as a parent. But no, you got to get out there in the streets and act a butt. And you have more sense. You have enough sense to know you should stay as far away from that nonsense as possible. Anytime you're in a group that, that promotes hatred, promotes bigotry, promotes confrontation, come on now. An idiot would know not to go into that crowd. And some of you who are simple bystanders or simple spectators are going to get badly hurt, might even get killed because you're in the wrong place at the wrong time, in the wrong crowd with the wrong mindset. If you want to look for a thrill, Turn on a good movie on TV. Stay within the safety of your own home. Be there with your kids. Be there with your family. I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. It, it, it accomplishes nothing. Not, absolutely nothing. So you get them told. They get you told. You get loud. They get loud because your friends and the crowd are watching. whoop de do. So what? Get your butt at home. Stay your behind at home so you can go to work and do what you have to do with your family. That ain't your fight. I don't care what they say. That ain't your fight. Let the politicians do battle in the arena. They're the ones getting the money for it, not you. And I don't care who you liked or who you didn't like. Don't vote on one person based on hating somebody else. 
That's ridiculous. That's like throwing the country to the wolves. And hopefully, this is not going to be our future. God have mercy on this country, if it is. And that's all I've got to say.